doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsev. I'm your host, Bilsev. And guess what? It's Friday. Friggin' right, and guess what? I'm going fucking home, I am. But I gotta hit M&M's, dirty old, rotten old, stinky old meat market there. Or whatever the hell you want to call it. Fast food crap. Because I feel like myself some friggin' cabbage rolls, I do. Who likes cabbage rolls from dirty old friggin' M&M's? Do you have 20 minutes to move a couch? No. <laughs> Why wouldn't ya? So that was my sister texting me, and you're all cock over and crooked, and I can't take it, boys. I gotta make sure you're straighter than dicks. So that was my sister texting me, and she wants me to help her move a couch. I said to her, Frig, sure, wait until I'm almost home, but I'm not really almost home, so I'm gonna go by and surprise her. Friggin' right I am. But I told her to fuck right off. Why wouldn't I? How you doing, eh? How the hell you doing, bitch? So, if I'm moving the couch tonight, you know what that means? It means I'm gonna pick up my freaking cabbage rolls. They're gonna be frozen. I'm gonna go home. It's gonna be seven o'clock. And I'm gonna cook my dinner and I'm gonna be eating at eight o'clock because it takes an hour and some minutes to cook a freaking cabbage roll. I should do a cooking with bills of homemade cabbage rolls. What I should be freaking doing, but. Frig. Frig, it's hot in here. Oh boy. I'm sweating my cocks off, I am. I'm thinking about bringing back the old duck bills. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that. Any of you that remember the old duck bills, it was pretty violent it was. So I was going to make a playlist of duck bills. Let me know if you think I should do a playlist with duck bills. And I'll call it Swearing Duck at Bills. Hey? Eh? Swearing with Duck Bills series. All right, well. But don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Leave any comments down below on what you think of the driving around with Bills. Why wouldn't you? And she texted back, but I can't look because I'm driving, boys. Give me five minutes to get to the light. Any of you that say, oh, you can't look at your phone when you're at a red light. You know what? F you. You're not moving. You're not gonna hit nothing if you're stopped. Oh, look, I got a red light. So guess what I'm gonna do, boys? I'm gonna look and see what she said to me, whether you like it or not. Look, stop. Here, I'll even put it in park. There you go. No, no, Sunday, not today. I'll call her. Let's give her a dingle on the old dangle and give her a hard time. Of course it's not connected to Bluetooth. Why the fuck would it be connected to Bluetooth? Hold on, boys. What are you saying now? Can we borrow you Sunday? Well, what the fuck did you text me for if you said, can you borrow for me for 20 minutes? Yeah, on Sunday. Ah, oh, Read the text. Fuck. Seeks. That's why I text you back right away. I'm like, no, not today, Sunday. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, Sunday? You mean you want me to drive all the way in from fucking Wyoming to move a couch on Sunday? I'll buy you dinner. Buy me dinner where? McDonald's? No, not McDonald's. <laughs> You're better than McDonald's. Say hi to everybody, yeah. Beck. Hello, everybody. There you go, Jason. Yeah, Sunday will work, but you're not going to buy me dinner because uh, I'm doing a family thing, so it'll probably be me and the family stopping by for a minute. Oh, well, I'm not family. You're going to take us all out for dinner? Like, no. Exactly. All right, well, touch base with me tomorrow and let me know how you're feeling. Where are you moving it to? Like, Tepperman's to, like, the little Michigan and Murphy. Okay, w wait a minute. Hold on a minute here, then. So now you need a truck to move a couch. Story's getting bigger and bigger. I thought it was coming to your house to move a couch. So, so <laughs> now we got a real problem. I can't put a couch in my truck. I got a hard friggin' tunnel cover, one of the fiberglass ones. It's like a fucking four man job to get this thing off the truck. So, oh, okay. I'm gonna have to use a trailer. Well, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no, the trailer's at my dad, so I'll just have to go there and grab the trailer. To see if it's still wrapped or not, I don't know. Oh, they'll leave it wrapped. Call them and tell them, make sure they leave it wrapped. Okay, <laughs> here's back. Okay. Thanks, Bill. Yeah. Hey. You're a good man, I love you. Okay, go fuck yourself. Thanks, buddy. Why wouldn't uh, you? you go fuck yourself, you go fuck yourself too, why wouldn't you? Ten four over. Come on, get that goddamn thing going, fucking piece of shit. Who the fuck buys a Dodge Challenger six cylinder? If you guys or any of you out there are my fans and you drive a six cylinder Dodge Charger, you should be shot and pissed on. Or Challenger. I still love you, but what the freak, man? Why would you buy a car that ugly and it's a V6? I shouldn't say the Charger. Charger looks good. The Challenger, not so much. I don't like them, boys. Leave your comments down below and let me know what you think if you think I'm just blowing smoke up my ass, but I really don't like them. Especially the V6 model. They just look horrid. Like, look at it! Ow! They look horrible! Skinny little tires that don't even come out to the wheel wells. Just dickered. That's what I think. And now my camera's all cocked over. Once I get the M&M meat shop here, I'm going to have to tighten her back up, boys. Get a little m and image. Uh oh, he's going straight. You know what that means, boys, girls, peoples? Liquor store. Maybe it's fucking Julian, eh? Dirty old Julian driving a friggin' Dodge Challenger to the dirty old LCBO. Rum and Coke, boys. 
Jeez. All right, boys. I'll give you a little angle of a dangle into the old freaking M&M's there, and you can watch me get my gear. Keep an eye on the truck for me, would you? Oh, fuck, wouldn't you? They got me, boys. Girls, peoples. Bacon wrap pork, eh? A little bacon wrap porkage. Some supreme stuffed peppers, which are probably gonna be deckered. And we got ourselves a family, holy fuck door. Got ourselves a family pack of friggin' cabbage McRolls, eh? Hey, all right, dude. Why wouldn't we? Oh, I also picked myself up some charge cables for the old iPhone. These ones from Walmart, boys, they sink really good, they do. And they last pretty good until you push the bed up against it and break one off. Well, they work pretty good, they do, just so you know. Oh, careful. Tight, tight. Tight, tighten her up, boys. <laughs> so, when I get home, I'm gonna look for the X Max battery. I think I might have misplaced one of the good batteries. That way, we can take the X Max out in the snow because I haven't had the X Max out in a long time, boys. Leave your comments down below if you want to see an X Max rip because I am having withdrawals for it and it is fun in the snow. And I got a couple spots I want to try because there is a pond down the street from me. It's really windy though today, so we won't do it today, but do it when the wind's not so bad because it's really windy over there, so it's gonna cock the whole video over. And we'll see what happens. So anyways, we're cruising down the street again, the lake shore that I took you on last time on the video there, the cruise. How'd you like that, by the way? Let me know below. Friggin' right, you better. Maybe do another one of them someday. Driving to destination with the trailer. Just let her play, boys, all the way. Especially if you go to Glasgow, because it's up and down. So I could do another video like that, but that video took me a long freaking time to edit. Didn't even say one word in the whole video, and it took me longer to edit than this video will. But, hey, it is what it is. That guy got frenzied pizza. He did. I even power washed this over radio at work today before I left. Get some of the salt off it, because the roads are freaking messy around here right now, they are. And the lake looks cool fucking old. You can't see it. Sorry about that. I apologize. Some of these houses are just ridiculous along here. We're doing something wrong. You, my peeps, are normal people, probably. Normal, down-to-earth people. If I have any millionaires that watch me, hey, you know, help a brother out, why wouldn't you? But most of you are like me, just working your ass off, barely getting by, and then you drive down Lakeshore Road in Sarnia or, you know, Riverside down in Windsor, whatever, and you're like, how? What? <laughs> Where? That's what I say. Like, I wish I could stop. There's nowhere to stop, but I wish I could stop and fire the camera this way and show you some of these freaking houses, boys, because they're freaking mansions. Freaking mansions, they are. I go for coffee right now. If I had 250 grand, that would make me debt free, probably 70 grand to play with, eh? I cocked myself over. But I guess that's not bad. So I guess it could be worse. I've been a little worried about that lately because Mama's not getting her hours at work, so we've been pretty tight, we have, like I've told you before. Dirty old rotten old stinky old Bilsif, he is fucking one honest dude. So you ask me a question and I'll answer it. Unless it's about my penis. Just imagine it, eh? Give you something to dream about at night. Friggin' right it will. Look at this fucking guy. Just cocking everybody right over riding his bike. Oh, I know this guy. This guy's deckered, boys. If I had time to fire the camera around and show him to you, but we're just gonna leave him alone. Put your helmet on, Captain. Lord Helmet. You know another thing I noticed? I don't know if anybody else has a Tim Hortons reward fucking app. I just realized today that I spent too much money at Tim Hortons. As soon as you download that app, it shows you your history. And I'm not a big Tim Hortons guy. Once every couple days. But holy crap, boys. I got to add it up. Don't download the app, the rewards app, because it'll make you stop buying Tim Hortons coffee because you'll be like, no wonder why I'm freaking broke. They're cocking me over. I don't want to go to Tim Hortons now. I'm scared to, because they're going to get more money out of me. But I really want a Cafe Mocha Double Double. Has anybody ever had a Cafe Mocha Double Double? Oh, they're freaking decent. Don't get the whipped cream. Just get Double Double. And you'll be like, oh, yeah. Me? Oh, yeah. All right, you know. What are you doing, sweetheart? Where are you going, honey? Obviously, she don't have a fucking clue where she's going. Honey, what can I get for you? I'm gonna have myself a large ca okay. cafe mocha with double double instead of whipped cream. Okay. No, that's it. Thanks, eh? Is it a good one? Yeah. It's a good one, boys. I didn't get fucked over. I wonder if I can go this way. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to go down to the lake. I wanna have a look see. Road closed ahead. Well, let's check it out. Local traffic closed. Bullshit. Boys, girls, pay balls. Ooh, there's some ice out there today. Oh, yeah. 
friggin' ice buildup out there, boys. So what's going on down here is the high water level has caught the road over. So they got the road all dug up up here. And I got a guy right on my asshole. Why wouldn't I? He can wait. Friggin' right, he can wait. Look at that, boys. The road's all sunk down and stuff here, so they gotta rebuild her, Jim. You know what? Go around me, you ass clown. You piss me right off. Go. Go. Fuck around me. Fucking on my ass. Fucking idiot. Look at you. In a rush to go fucking nowhere, bud. Oh, hey, look at that place. Decent! Here, well, everybody drives like a fucking maniac around here. The streets are so goddamn tight, and everybody's just flying around, hey? Not giving two rats assholes. Why is this thing all cocked over? Base is loose, that's why it's jiggling. There we go. Let's try that out. Captain. Hey, careful. Easy. How you doing? How the hell you doing? We're back in business now. I love lolly doll and it just slowing people down makes you feel good. Okay. Does it make any of you guys feel good? Do you feel good when you cock someone over? I do. Oh, this thing's just cocked over. I gotta pull over, boys, and fix the camera. Like, what is really going on? Oh. Ah, look at it. Ah. Oh, ah. Ah, oh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Fuck, because this is driving me absolutely shit fucking crazy. Tighten that, son of a bitch. Falco will stab the fuck out of it. And we should be good. Parked for a long time, didn't I? You know another thing is stickered up, boys? I bought a cheap camera, backup camera for the truck, eh? One that goes into the handle. So, you start the truck, put it in reverse, it's upside down. Never was before! But here's the kicker. Next time I start the truck, it's right again. Then I start the truck, upside down again. So, for the last month or so, it's been doing that every day. It's just cocked right over. If anybody out there, 2007 Chevy Silverado, have a company with a backup camera that goes in the hand of Ruski, send her my way, boys, I'll do a review. Why wouldn't I? Even though I haven't got nothing in a long time for reviewing. And the reason why, I think, is because I was honest. I've learned, boys, if you want free products for your channel, you can't be honest. The first time you're honest, you get flagged. So guess what? It is what it is. You send me something that's junk, I'm not gonna freaking promote a junk item. I'm sorry. Like that RC, that's why I think I got flagged. That RC review fail video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. You'll laugh your asses off because that thing was a piece of shit. Here, we'll send you something to review and uh, we'll give you a discount code for all your fans to buy one. Yeah, right. Like I'm gonna freaking suggest buying that. Didn't even work right out of the box. They're probably thinking, oh, he just screwed us right over on that product. You know, it probably got broken during shipping. And, you know, now he just wrecked it for us selling this item. No. Even if it was bumped around, the, the gear should just fall off. Thank God you're turning, because this truck absolutely stinks, boys. I got a Ford in front of me. I can tell by the smell of the diesel. It doesn't smell like a Dodge. Sure is a Ford F350. She's not burning right. That thing just fucking reeks. I don't know if you noticed that. You can smell the difference from a Cummins to a Ford by the way it burns the fuel. Does that make sense to you? Let me know because I, I can tell the difference. That truck had a freaking steel box in the back that was made aftermarket, so I could not see the cap, but I could tell by the smell it was a Ford. But anyways, I should get off this thing now. You probably got more than enough footage. Probably get it edited tonight, but I can't promise it. I gotta do some sewing coming up. I don't know if I should do a video on that. Let me know in the comment section below if you want to see me sewing more times. I've sewed three or four different curtains now. Since I posted those last videos, but I haven't recorded, so. If you really want to see sewing, let me know. I'm getting older, so I'm having a harder time being funny. I'm more serious right now, I am. That's what happens when a family member isn't 100% kind of changes your mood a little bit for a while though. So hopefully when everything gets back to normal, I'll get back to normal. But as of right now, I'm a little different. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. Not doing anything I ain't doing. And uh, you know what to do for now.